Last time on Danganronpa. <laughs> Don't make me laugh, you idiot! Clearly, you want to cram me into your little guilty box. Well, here's one little problem. Have you already forgotten what Hifumi told us as he lay dying? When we asked him who had attacked him, his answer was quite clear, was it not? He said, and I quote, Yasuhiro. In other words, Yasuhiro Kakakure! Wait! What? It's basically a formality at this point, but once again, you are totally correct. The black one this time, the true killer who devised the whole slick kid scheme was... Celestia Ludenberg, or more precisely, Taiko Yasuhiro. Honestly. I lost. Well, that sucks. I guess trying to work with someone else was a mistake after all. Fumi's ineptitude was beyond all my calculations. I knew it. So you really did approach Fumi with this plan. But how'd you get him to agree? I can't imagine he would have happily agreed to commit murder. Hm. I'm sure he relied on her spe speciality, lying. <laughs> My speciality? Don't make me laugh. I don't have to lie to get him to agree. So then... Then did you use... you know... <sighs> I knew you'd figure out, Kyoko. You're absolutely right. To get Hifumi to act as my accomplice. Indeed. I used her. For everyone who is still left, I'll avoid mentioning it by name, but... It was the one thing Hifumi and Taka were both su super into. Does she mean... Is she talking about alter ego? Say what? What? What, what, what? What are you talking about? Just a second. Don't interrupt. We're in the middle of a very important conversation here. <laughs> I'm totally out of the loop, as usual. How sad. In other words... Then you're the one that stole it? Indeed. That's right. I see. And you use it to rack Hifumi into a plan you come up with. <laughs> right again. Last night, after we had our meeting about how it, how it disappeared, I paid Hifumi a little visit. Um... Oh. Um, what are you doing here? Does he have a magical girl costume in his background? <laughs> Ifumi, why do you have that? How do you think you can fit that buddy? Why do you even have that? I mean, I understand, you know, I understand if you want to have figurines and all, but why costume? <laughs> Actually, I was hoping I could talk to you alone. It is about what was stolen. I know who did it. What? Are you okay with this? It was Taka. He stole it. <laughs> yeah! So then... And I have proof. Would you like to see it? As it turned out, I found a use for this digital camera. I'd taken you know what to Taka's room earlier and took pictures of it there. I deleted the pictures as soon as I'd shown it to Hifumi, of course. Damnation! Girl, so watch him. But how'd you eat? But how'd... Wait, <laughs> but how did you do it? He was supposed to yell if you was got close to her. <sighs> You're correct, which is why Taka forced me to steal it. Say what? As for me... Please forgive me. He... he threatened me. Oh, um... He did? As for me... He came to my room last night, unannounced, and then it, it's hard for me to even say. He... abused me. Oh, wow. Damn, she went all... she went... as far as... lie about abuse like that? What? Jesus Christ. <sighs> and he... took pictures. He said if I did not do as he asked, he would show them to everyone. Damn, she is... She's she's an actress, that's for, that's for sure. So I had no choice. Damnation! That's a crime, an absolute crime. He... I mean, I knew he got a little crazy, but... Say what? I never imagined he would go that far. <laughs> it was amazing how completely he bought it. <laughs> I can't express how enjoyable that was. <laughs> I'm about to say something I've never said before in my life. Completely unforgivable! I'm going to kill him. I'm going to f f fucking kill him. Most unfortunate. Wait, please. If you go now, you'll be playing right into his hands. Hmm? Actually... Taku's planning to use her to escape. As he made you his target. What? Escape? What do you mean? <sighs> Taku is going to try to kill you now. <laughs> Indeed. And oh, he can keep his, and oh, he, and also he can keep her to himself. 
That this is unforgivable. And that bastard. Completely unforgivable. Bastard, 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 bastard. Honestly. Can we allow him to continue with these barbaric acts? <laughs> Absolutely not. How could I? She, she. I swear, I will save her. Actually. Then, would you like to join with me? It just so happens I've come up with a plan. <laughs> I've devised a way to reclaim what has what he has stolen and escape this dreadful school. <laughs> that laughter. <sighs> and with that, it is complete. Hmm? Huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> if we may agree without a second thought, <laughs> the effect that the effect that item had on him was remarkable. The power of love, even though love is twisted as as that can still drive people mad, it would seem. Uh, um, you disgust me. I see. <clears throat> I still don't get his voice right whatsoever. <clears throat> Bro, <Brute. laughs> god damn, it actually hurts. I might have to give him a different voice now. I have another question for you. What, what was that strange costume for me? His creation? Indeed. Yeah. It was a real pain in the butt, too. All I asked him to do was make something to hide the face and general body size. I had no idea he'd make something like that. But it's my fault for picking him in the first place. But... So, why'd you decide to make me a suspect? <sighs> because you're stupid. Huh? That's it? Let's see... And in that regard, I made the right choice. I'm so glad your stupidity surpassed my every expectation. <laughs> Life must have been tough for your parents, though. <sighs> I feel like I could cry. Well. But when you explaining your plan to Hifumi, how'd you explain the part about him playing dead? <laughs> what she asking is, what was Hifumi supposed to do after that, assuming he had actually let him live? Are you okay with this? That simple. After he did part and pretended to be dead, once someone showed up, I told him to say he's been seriously wounded, he was on a verge of death, but he just barely held on. Hmm. And he really believed that? <laughs> well, of course. That was all there was to it. As I explained it to Hifumi, the plan was, while you were all questioning him about what he had happened to him, I was going to murder someone else. At that point, Hifumi would have an alibi, so nobody could doubt him. I told him that, and he believed it. Hm. It all seemed very straightforward, stereotypical. Hm. I just matched a lie to the level of the opponent. In fact, Hifumi ate it up. He believed that lie wholeheartedly, right up until the moment of his death. So in the end... So you had planned to kill him all along? <laughs> but of course. There would have been no point in my plan if, if the one who pretended to be dead did not end up dead himself. What the heck? How can human life can be can mean so little to you? Well... That's a non-issue. I simply did everything in my power to win. Don't be mean! No, you sound like Byakuya. They do kind of sound a little bit like that. I wonder about that. No, he derives his pleasure from the thrill of the hunt. In that aspect, we're nothing alike. Why? Then, what made, you, what made you take things this far? What the heck? Was it really just for money? Hmm. Are you talking about the 10 million dollars Monokuma offered us? That is a lot of money, it is true. <sighs> That's not all there is to it. From the moment our new life here began, my only thought had been escape. But... But... All along you've been saying how we have to accept living here. You little bitch! Obviously that was a lie. <laughs> I couldn't take it. I hated it from day one. More than anyone, anyone, anyone else in here. You little bitch. I wanted to get out. Every day was a fresh torture. And do you want to know why, huh? This is fine. Because I had a dream. And accepting a life here would have meant nothing less than giving up on my dream forever. Honestly. And there was no way that I could ever do that. In the underground world of gambling, I risked my life to make a metaphorical killing. As for me... And it was all for that dream. And what was that dream of yours? Isn't it wonderful? To live in a European castle. A castle? <laughs> wow. So she just wanted to be a... Uh, <laughs> a madame of the castle with a bunch of... Vampires? I guess? I have no idea. This looks very gothic. To gather handsome men from all over the world to serve them as butlers slash bodyguards. I was going to make him dress up like vampires and satisfy my every need. Wow. She wanted to be a vampire queen. <laughs> Once I obtained that, I would have created a perfectly aesthetic world of decadence. This is fine. 
Living the rest of my life there was my only dream, my only goal. That was... That's what my life is all about. <sighs> Combined with my own winnings, Monokuma's $10 million would have made that dream a reality. I got right to the edge, but... There is nothing to be done. Unfortunately, my dream is being scattered to the wind. Still, I don't have any regrets. I pursued my dream to the very end, so why would I? Just the worst. You sound so passionate, but you were really able to kill your own friends for it. Oh. Are you asking me to feel guilty? It's a pointless endeavor. I think nothing of sacrificing others for my own ends. I feel nothing. Do you understand? That's all there is to me. That's what makes me complete. <laughs> Isn't it terrifying how different our values are? There's simply no room for understanding. What is this? That's what we should be saying. And plus, how can you be so calm? Don't you realize you're about to die? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> My ability to lie is unraveled, and I take pride in that. It's not just other people. I can even feel my own emotions. The conscious deceives the unconscious. That's why you're not scared? Yes, indeed. That's right. I don't fear death. Kill me however you like. <sighs> but you know, if I could be reincarnated, if I had a choice, then... Isn't it wonderful? I think I'd like to come back as Mary Antoinette. Hey, you just get executed again. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I gotta get his voice right. <clears throat> Who is Marie Antoinette? Can somebody please let me know in the comments below? I'm not good with history, sorry. I'm pretty sure that's a character, not a character, but a legit person from the past, or a fictional character. So please do let me know who Marie Antoinette is and what is it from. So I smiled then. When she did, it looked to me like a poor effort to force it. She claimed she could fool her own feelings, but that statement itself must have been a final lie. And that weak, fake smile is what betrayed her. Thrills, chills, kills! You all done? Okay, let's get rolling! The black can dis disturb the peace and must pay the price! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! For her, the ultimate gambler! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Oh god, special punishment. He always customizes the punishment according to people's personalities. I'm a little bit sickened to see what her is. I guess I'll let Kyoko hold on to this. What? This is... Will it really give you the hope you're looking for? I can't say I ever saw it that way. Which is why... Actually, it's not important. Well then... Take care, everyone. Perhaps we'll meet again. In another life. Damn, dude, feels...
Wow. So aside from getting a little toasty, she got smashed by a freaking fire truck. Into a wall. I get the irony, but the fact that she is dead, that's... God, it's pretty fucked, actually. God damn it. Everybody is literally dying off. We got... Eight people left. Seven people left now. Whew. It's over. The third execution is over. It's less death is over. It's less killed with my friends, so I can't pity her, but I also can't deny that at one point I considered her a friend too. And for him to just come along and isn't it just awful? Someone couldn't cut <laughs> someone couldn't cut free of the regrets from the outside world, so more people had to die. Extreme! You guys are still young, you need to place more value on your lives. What are you gonna do? Jeez, and here I thought you guys were gonna pass the torch of hope to the next generation. Let me out of here! Why do I care about hope? I'll throw it in the trash if, if you just let me out of here. Too bad! <clears throat> You're all the embodiments of hope, whether you like it or not. And it's my destiny to knock you down one by one. It's sad, yes it is, but that's reality, this can't be avoided. Don't talk like you're not responsible. How, how are you gonna make us keep doing all through this? What do you want from us? Strange. God, I'm so sick of people asking me that. Give it a rest already. Hmm. So anyway, Kyoko, did I get... Did I see... Did, did I see you get some kind of a key type object from Celeste? Hey! Hey! So, uh, what's the deal with that? What? What's the matter? So then... I'll answer your question if you answer mine. You... What'd you do? What'd you do to me? Who? Wait, what? Hey. Answer me. What'd you do to my body? Ooh, how exciting! The hell? What? Oh man, oh jeez! Oh man, oh jeez! What do you mean? What did I do? I, I have no idea. I don't know anything about it. Um, what was that just now? The mastermind did something to Kyoko's body. What does that mean? Hello. Okay, things are getting kind of awkward. I think it's about time I get out of here. Well. Meanwhile, you guys can go and enjoy your school life. If you get lonely, give me a shout. Not that I'll do anything about it, of course. See ya later. Monokuma disappeared, leaving us all depressed and in despair. Although, it wasn't all despair. There was one small hope. Hey, Kyoko. Monokuma already mentioned it, but... What's the key that Celeste gave you? Well, what's the key that Celeste gave you? So... Most likely, is a key to one of the dressing room lockers. Huh? What? Th that means... Hmm. Celeste probably hid it in there. Hey. I suppose sometimes it's easy to miss what's right beneath your nose. Well then, better go check. Indeed. Good idea. We left the courtroom and rushed to the dressing room. As we approached the dressing room, Kyoko looked back at us and said, Hey. I'm going to go on alone from here. Everyone else head to the dining hall. I'll check in with you later. What? Why exactly are you doing going alone? So... Do you even have to ask? As she spoke, she glanced quickly at the surveillance camera. Come on. That's not what I mean. Why you? There's still the risk of a spy, you know. Then I'll go. What? You? Please, let me go. Standing here arguing is just going to draw more attention to us. Goodbye. Hmm. Do whatever you want. Thank you, Byakuya. Well then. Then it's up to you. Yo! I'm gonna go to the dining hall, okay? Huh? Huh? So Makoto and Kyoko are gonna go together? <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? Okay. Good luck, Makoto. Girls like <laughs> girls like her are total pushovers when you show a little backbone. Wow. Okay, okay, Hina. I try to forget what Hina said. Everyone headed to the dining hall, leaving me and Kyoko here alone. Shall we go? Well, shall we? Yeah. So then. We need to get into the locker. Kyoko looked to the key Celeste ga uh, had given her and unlocked the locker. And as the locker swung open, we saw. You're really Good morning. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> it's safe. Thank goodness. 
I'd never heard Kyoko sound so relieved. It was like she was speaking from the bottom of her heart. <laughs> I did just what Celeste asked. I didn't say a word, I stayed quiet the entire time. No. Oh, and... I think I might be able to open the last set of files soon. Maybe as early as tomorrow. I'm doing my best, so please wait for me, uh, just a little longer. <laughs> so now we can officially say the case is closed. As far as this incident is concerned, sure, but... Can we take a second? Since we have this opportunity, I want, to be on I want you to be honest with me. Kyoko, please tell me. What are you trying to do all on your own here at the school? Mm. Is that why you wanted to come here with me? However... Regardless, that's not something I need to know right now. I don't need to know? That just makes me even more worried. What? Worried? Like, what happened during the investigation this time? You disappeared, and we didn't see you again. Without warning, without explanation. When you do that... Indeed. It's only natural that they think I'm mastermind spy, right? And you too. No! I, I believe in you. What? Do you believe? In me? Isn't that obvious? People believe in your friends, right? That's what I want you to tell me. And I want you to believe in me too. Because we're friends. I understand. It's true. Then, maybe I can believe in you. Just a little bit more. Then... That's fine. Fine. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I've been disappearing and where I've been going. You see... What I heard from Kyoko then was... Well, frankly, it kind of blew my mind. Right after I told Kyoko I believed in her, she told me a story that was, well, almost unbelievable. I decided I had to confirm what she told me with my own two eyes, so I waited for nighttime to come. And when I did, I went into action. Correct. The boys' bathroom on the second floor doesn't have a surveillance camera or monitors in it. And in the storage closet there, way in the back. She said it was way in the back of the boys' bathroom storage closet, but could Kyoko really be right about this? Guys, I don't like this. I don't like this, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really don't like this. What is Kyoko gonna tell us? Wait, whoa, 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 We cannot, we cannot rule out the possibility she wants to try to kill us here. This is the best way to kill us. She just kills us, down, takes care of the murder, nobody knows who did it, she escapes as the blacken. As much as I want to trust her, I want to trust her, but this is really, really shady, you do realize that, right? I hope I'm not the only one seeing this, right? Here we go. Ooh, Jesus. It's just a normal storage closet, as far as I can tell. See what Kyoko told me about. Could it really be hidden here? The wall. Wait. I, I see something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good. It looks kind of like a door. Doesn't it? She said it was my way in the... It was it, all the way in the back of the storage closet. But I mean, seriously? Without thinking, I placed my hand on the back of the storage closet. And suddenly... As if I were being yanked in. At the same time as I heard that sound, I fell through the wall. I had no idea what was going on. And we crashed somewhere. I'd fallen through the back of the storage closet. Huh? It turned out. The back wall was like a revolving door, and I made my way back to the other side. Just like Kyoko had said. Correct. In the boys' bathroom on the second floor, there's a storage closet. And way in the back of that closet, there's a secret room. So this is a secret room? But what's in here? What the hell is all this? What the hell is a Kyoko? Uh, I don't know what Kyoko, I don't know what the hell Kyoko is, but oh my god, what the hell is Kyoko? I'm a little bit worried and excited to know what Kyoko is. She's the ultimate mystery! Jesus Christ! What do we start? We got the desk and we got the bookshelf. Let's start with the desk since it's closer. It's just a normal desk with normal drawers. Never mind. Bookshelf. There's a bunch of files, and what looks like volume after volumes of yearbooks. They're all covered in dust. Looking at everything, one file at the edge of the bookshelf caught my eye. Hope Speak Academy Student Registry? This is the only thing in here that's not covered in dust. Had someone been looking at it recently? I slipped the file into my, into my hand. But before I had a chance to take a look at it, 
A slip of paper fell out of the file, and I turned my attention to it. What's this? You must not leave. That's kind of weird. I could understand it's like, I can't leave, but you must not leave. What is this? My head feels funny. The strange sensation. It's like deja vu. Those words. You must not leave. I've seen them. Somewhere before. But can't quite remember. What do I know? What don't I know? I... I... Strange sound rang out through my head. I felt like I was shaking my brain back and forth. And then... Darkness. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know what started it. It's all over. And with that, I opened my eyes. I didn't know how long it's been. What the hell just happened? We got attacked by some masked individual in the back. What the hell just happened? What? Ow. Apparently, somebody hit me and I lost consciousness. That's all I understood. The dull, throbbing pain in my head proved that much at least. And all, everything is gone. An empty bookshelf. Huh? Empty? Gone. It's all gone. The yearbook, the student registry, and even the note that had fallen on the floor. It's all gone? What does this mean? But my brain refuses to do any more work. The insistent pain in my head began to spread across the rest of my body. For now, I should go back to my room. Get some rest. Is this a good idea? My body was heavy with pain, my mind heavy with thought. I dragged myself back towards my room. Somehow, I made it back to the first floor of the school. Ugh. The farther I walked, the more I felt. Things are getting blurry. I can't see in front of me. I couldn't stop myself from collapsing right there. And after that... Hmm? As if from a vast distance, I heard a sound. It was faint, but undeniable. That sound... It's coming from... The gym? What the hell? As I desperately hauled my shaking frame towards the gym, the sound got stronger and stronger. What's going on? Can't be nothing. Here? In the gym? The hell? I did make a sound as I opened the door to the gym. The sound coming from inside, meanwhile, only intensified but that much more. Oh, damn! Oh! 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 Oh my god! Before me, there raged a battle between beyond anything humanly possible. No, one side's not human, that's for sure, but regardless, I couldn't stop staring. I forgot to move or even breathe. Why you? What do you think you're doing? I asked you a question. What's the meaning of this? How dare you defy me? This wasn't part of the deal! Sakura. That's Sakura, and that's real Sakura, trust me. Sakura... ...has been Monokuma's spy? Holy oh, shit! The deal? I've made a decision. I will no longer retreat. No longer compromise. No longer regret. I've made my decision. I'm going to resist you. Hmm... Okay. But... You do realize what will happen if you go through with this, right? You haven't forgotten, have you? What I'm holding hostage? <clears throat> what am I looking at? What am I hearing? 
a hostage? Then could it be the mastermind spy is next general generalization legend stand tall galactic hero the end oh god what the hell is going on what the hell what the hell oh. we got super robot justice ladies and gentlemen yay oh my god do I want to save the data? Uh, yeah, I want to save the data. Let's save our heat in empty slot 6. We will leave at that. Right? We will leave at that. And then we'll start with chapter 3 end. And after that we can begin the next chapter, chapter 4. I don't know how many chapters there are in this game, but... Oh my god! Three, practically three hours of recording this. We've learned... Ifumi did kill Taka, like I knew, like I said. Celeste did become suspicious, it turns out she killed Hifumi and planned the whole thing. Celeste is not really Celeste. Her last name is Yasuhiro. Her first name was actually kinda cute. I've completely forgot but it was kinda cute. It started in T. Oh god. Then Kyoko showed us something absolutely out of the- completely out of this world. Something- apparently... Monokumi did something to a body? He did. He did something to a body, something? I don't know what it is. I, I didn't- I don't think anything lewd was implied. Something maybe harmed or something, or altered her body or in some way. I don't know what it is. And then, Sakura is the spy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I freaking love this game! Oh my god, it's amazing! Oh, I want to keep playing, but I should stop and record something else. I want to keep playing so bad. Guys, I think what I'm going to do is actually end right here. And we'll begin the next episode with Chapter 4. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I guarantee you, I'll, as soon as this visual novel is done, I guess this is called a visual novel, sort of. It is an interactive visual novel. After this visual novel is done, after Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc is done, we move on to Danganronpa 2. I think that one's called Goodbye Despair, I think. We're gonna move on to that as soon as possible. And apparently this year, sometime this summer actually, the third game should be coming out for Steam. And I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Oh. God. Anyway, guys. I think what I want to do is actually end right here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. My name is Thamriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great, wonderful day. See ya. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thamriel. Welcome to the Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing yet. I kind of want to say you could dress better. 